Hey, what's up everyone? This is Josh from Slate Audio, and today I wanted to show you how to set up multi-outs in SSD 5.5. This is a great tip if you're an e-drummer or a studio musician and you want to have a little bit more automation in your DAW with SSD 5.5. So let's check it out. So to start, I have my Modern Legend kit queued up, and if I navigate over to the Mix tab here, at the very bottom of each of these instruments, you'll notice that the default is Output 1. So this essentially means that the audio is going out through SSD 5, which is the default. So if you want to change that, what I can do is I can add two new tracks to Ableton Live, and let's name the first one Kick, and the second one Snare, because I want to route out my kick and my snare drum to Ableton. So what I can do now is I can set both of these to input, and for where it's getting the audio, I'm going to set SSD 5, and then my kick, I'm going to do output 2, and I'm going to do the same thing here, set it to SSD 5, and I'm going to set this one as output 3. So if I go back over to SSD 5, what I can do here is for my three kicks, I'm going to set these, I'm going to click on it, and change it from 1 to 2. Do it for all three of these here. And what I can do for my snares is I'm going to set these to output three. So if I solo these now, this is just the kick. So these are all three kick instruments. And if I solo my snare, these are all of my snares right here. And so what this allows me to do is I can adjust the volume from here And I can do this for all snare instruments that are in SSD5. So this is a great way if you're doing live performances or you're in the studio and you want to use a controller, uh, it's a really quick way to be able to adjust uh, the gain or really whatever you want in SSD 5.5. All right, so that's how you set up multi-outs in SSD 5.5. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments and happy drumming.